um, hello again, um, okay, so this is my third video, um, on the 3rd of the 2nd, 2012, put in my list, wrote some stuff, <coughs> um, I only did one of the things that I wanted to do today, not as productive as I thought that it would be, um, I like my hair today, I can't stop looking at it, anyway, um, yes, and so I went to the gallery, um, Windsor and Newton, ironically enough I found someone there that went to London Met, um, in the first year, so that was nice, got to talk to someone, didn't know them but, we made friends, um, and I also know that they're doing some residences there, and that they might be um, renting out the gallery space for gallery shows. So me and another person from university, um, we were talking about um, maybe putting on a show with some of us. Um, and like, you know, dividing up the cost of it and whatnot between us. So that could be quite good. Quite interesting. Especially for where it is in London. It, I mean, it's not the easiest place to get to, but it is in my zone too. So it's fairly central. Um, more on the west side as well, which is quite cool. Because, um, just because it's got a different feel to it than say East End. You gotta love the East End but you know, get both kind of places. Um so yeah, I went to the gallery, um, Windsor and Newton, which is by Latmere Road Station. It's about a five minute walk. Google got it wrong though, which was really annoying walking on this black building trying to get in, it wasn't even the place. It's around the corner from there. Um yeah and we met uh, Maria Norden and that was really nice I like that um, what do you think um, yeah she was basically talking about her work and like things which influence her work and she was on about uh, yeah she was on about how um, she used watercolour which is quite interesting because not many artists now use watercolours especially if you look at her work they're very contemporary but kind of, they they show a technique, that's the kind of work which I like if you're going to get into contemporary work. I mean, it's very emotive, it's very provocative, and you can see that she's able to paint, basically. But she did, you know, she went to the Royal College of Arts, what do you expect? Um, <clears throat> uh, she's actually allergic to other forms of paint, like acrylic oil, um, stuff like that. Um, which made her have to use watercolour and so it's quite it reminded me of a girl from last year who was colour blind and she kind of used that to her advantage um, she she said that because she was allergic she had to be more experimental and because of that she's made this kind of style which is really really interesting out of summer um, um, a type of um, medium a type of medium yeah paint medium which most people don't use which yeah so that made it interesting in itself um, and she said that I mean which I felt was kind of what I'm trying to get at was um, that she wanted her paintings not to be about the painting or what the painting tried to say but how you your body relates to the painting, how you empathise with it. You don't have to know what it means or, you know, the fact that it's meaningless almost gives it context because it's about how you see it, how you perceive it. Um, uh, she used paper because obviously it's watercolour and she used different kinds of paper like etching paper and watercolour paper. Um, the these try and get different surfaces to work on and using different techniques, leaving water on it, um, swishing it around, which reminds me of Frankie's work. 
trying out these different things using parts of it were etchings and she had painted over the top of these um, like it was the same colour as the rest of the skin but yeah they were etchings um, she said that she cropped the images ever so slightly just to give it a really clean surface she also said that the way we saw them she didn't want us to see them because they had changed gallery space and the fact that they were behind glass and she didn't like that so she actually said if you know a way of how to show works like that without them being in glass um, she also there was also there a a film a short sequence which was a put on repeat of um, a performance Uh, called Prize 71 um, that she had basically copied and painted um, in these in really small images comparatively to her very long kind of paintings and which were on show uh, the the smaller ones which were put onto film uh, was 15 by 20 centimeters and she did 24 of them um, and so that just like the um, the feel of it, it reminded me of a piece which I saw last term in C4RD um, of someone masturbating with animals, um, but you know less kind of you know it's not fast, but I don't know less cliche in the way of trying too hard or trying to be too shocking. So it was good. It was a good piece, just in comparison. Um, and she said that she was more into like 60s, 70s feminist, uh, like feminism pieces. Um, then the, obviously that kind of literature, um, the whole kind of movement, which I've looked at before, but I think that maybe it would be better to um, reinvestigate into further. Why she was thinking of this and looking at her pieces, what I thought is if I scan people's faces, like compress um, onto like a photocopier or something, that could be quite interesting. Rather than taking photos of people, having them like scrooged up, or if I was going to take it like so the images themselves aren't pretty, um, to kind of get that fleshiness, that meatiness um, of the pieces. That's what I like the most about her work. Um, I'll show you my favourite piece. This is at a new gallery which only opened today. Um, so you had to be on the guest list to uh, be able to see this show. Um, her early works are very illustrative. Um, which is quite ironic. But the colour one is my favourite. You can't see it on here, but there's lots, it's really, um, it's like, it's obviously been done with watercolour, and in its softness, but there's something very realistic in its unrealistic kind of way. It, it looks like skin. It's not painting tone, it's painting skin. And it looks like skin because of it. Um, you can tell, you can see where the um, watercolor has bled and, and moved because of the um, because of the water, which is very interesting. And I think I will definitely um, look at that. Um, yeah, and they're just really, really honest. They're not pretty. They're aesthetically pleasing, but they're not pretty. They're very honest. Um, these ones uh, watercolour on paper uh, from the series called Pink Noise and she said that she the work didn't come from Pink Noise but when she was doing them um, she heard the word Pink Noise and just knew straight away that that is what they were and Pink Noise basically is a sound which is no sound it's basically kind of like quieter than say white noise it's it's peaceful she describes it as like 
the sounds of dolphins or you know rain or something like that um which you can kind of see because they are very peace they're not they're they're peaceful in their honesty i think rather than being very easy on the eyes because even though they are to me to some people they would find it completely gruesome but you know i thought that was very very interesting and then afterwards we went to um we went upstairs and had a look in the labs where they um engineer different pigments for Windsor and Newton, uh, which was very interesting. Got to speak to people um, about different kinds of brushes, which one's the best. And I spoke to one of the the head lab technician about glazes because I haven't glazed or varnished any of my works. Um, yeah, just tried out different stuff. Got a load of freebies, sketchbooks, paint brushes, ink watercolours, lots and lots of different things so that was quite good. I liked it. It was fun. Uh, hopefully, I'm just going to get up earlier. Uh, I'll get two or three done tomorrow. Um, yeah, and try and get this lift. You bet you can't, you probably can't see it. I, it's a long lift done by the end of the week because two cost me 30 quid um that was a there we are a cool clip anyhow so yeah i think that is that yay okay see you